In the bustling, neon-lit corridors of a future too close for comfort, Thomas Anderson lived dual lives. By day, he was a respectable software engineer, blending into the monochrome seas of cubicles and computer screens. But as night descended, he transformed into Neo, a hacker haunted by a singular question that gnawed relentlessly at the edges of his consciousness. What is the Matrix? This question led him down rabbit holes of information, through digital labyrinths that seemed to whisper secrets just beyond his grasp, until one day, the answer came knocking in the form of a message that shattered his reality. The world Thomas knew, it turned out, was a Laia grand illusion spun from code and machines. Humanity was enslaved, not by chains, but by a virtual reality designed to pacify and distract, all while their bodies served as batteries to their mechanical overlords. This revelation was presented to him by Morpheus, a man who seemed to have stepped right out of myth and into the dim light of Neo's apartment. Armed with the truth and a choice encapsulated in two pills red to embrace the harsh realities of life and join the resistance, or blue to forget and return to the blissful ignorance of the Matrix. Neo embarked on a journey that was as much about discovering his own potential as it was about saving mankind. The Matrix, as Neo quickly learned, was more than just a system of control. It was a battleground, a place where the laws of physics were mere suggestions to those who knew how to bend them, where agents, programmed keepers of the status quo, hunted down anomalies like him with a cold, relentless precision. Yet, within this digital dreamscape, Neo found allies. Trinity, a woman whose strength and conviction rivaled his own curiosity, and Morpheus, a mentor whose faith in a prophecy that Neo was the one to end the war seemed both a gift and a burden. As the lines between reality and simulation blurred, Neo's abilities within the Matrix grew. He bent its rules, defying gravity and dodging bullets with the ease of a god amongst mere digital constructs. Yet every triumph was met with a stark reminder of what was at stake. Zion, the last human city, and a dwindling hope that mankind might one day break free from its shackles. The climax of Neo's journey brought him face to face with Agent Smith a program with a disdain for humanity as boundless as the code that created him. In a desperate fight for survival and freedom, Neo realized the true extent of his powers. He saw the Matrix not for the reality it mimicked, but for the code it was a world that he could manipulate, a battle he could win. And in doing so, he not only reshaped the future of humanity, but also unraveled the very fabric of the Matrix itself. In the end, as Neo hung up the phone in a booth nestled within the heart of the Matrix, promising those who built the prison that he would show their prisoners a world where anything was possible, the story transcended the confines of a mere conflict between man and machine. It became a testament to the human spirit, a beacon of hope that even in our darkest hours, within us lies the power to change our destiny. And with that, the tale of the Matrix wasn't just about fighting for the future, it was about believing in the power of one to make a difference.